guys, it's Jennifer from Craft Forest. So it's back to school time and we are getting very excited at home. Lots of notebooks purchased, pencils sharpened, we're all ready to go. And I thought it would be really fun to make a back to school craft that you could do with the kids or grandkids. Really fun, probably already have these supplies at home. So we're gonna make these little frames, school bus frames, out of craft sticks. And we're just using some other things that we have at home. We're gonna use some either felt or some of this foam. We're gonna use some earrings, we're gonna use a gem, and some photos of the kids that we've just actually washi taped to the back so that way you can change it out every year. So really fun, really easy to do. Like I said, the kids can do it with you. Let me show you what we need and how we're gonna do it. So to make our bus, depending on how many seats you want, we did two seats. and We used four regular sized popsicle sticks or craft sticks, so four of those. And then we got the wide kind of tongue depressor style and we need three of those for the actual bus. We're gonna use some foam and I'm gonna use this kind of glittery sparkle foam for our tires. And you can either use brads that you have, those little um, hole punch kind, or I'm just actually using earring backs um, that you can make your own earrings with. We had these at home and these were perfect to use, to um, use as kind of the spokes on the tire. And then something to decorate. We're gonna do either a gemstone or a sticker that you can put for the headlight on the bus and pictures. So that's all you need. So let's get started. Oh, and we need some markers to color it too if you want. So I'm gonna use actually some yellow sharp, a yellow Sharpie, or you can use a highlighter on this one. Either one will work great. So just wanna show you how easy it is to color these. You really even just need one coat. Okay, so we'll just do that there. And then I'll show you how to put these guys together. So I wanna do the top of the bus first, and we kinda of wanna space out where our pictures go are going to be. So we'll kind of eyeball that and make sure that it fits with the top of our other popsicle stick. And we're gonna use our glue gun to put these two together. So I'm just gonna do a dab of glue on the top of all three of these. Okay, and just line those up. And just maybe put the end one on here so that way you can decide exactly where your center is. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the top of our bus here, and that's where we're actually gonna put our photos in. And then we're going to grab our bigger popsicle sticks, okay? And we're gonna line these up to make our actual bus. So I like mine to line up exactly. And I'm gonna put two, one on the top, kind of one in the center, and then I'm gonna balance this, set, this third one right on top there to give just kind of a little bit of dimension and that's where you could write the name of the school. So let's glue these guys on the same way. So I'm just gonna do three dabs of glue here. And you wanna leave a little bit of room to put your tires on too. So put that guy on. Okay. Same thing up here. And I'm just using a low temp glue gun so that is safe for the kids to, to use. But you could also use uh, just Elmer's glue or any school glue that you have at home to make that a little more kid friendly for the smaller kids if you wanted to too. And then on this one, I'm gonna put some glue just along the edge so that I can adhere it to the other one here. Go. And I'm just going to put that right in the center and stick it on. And then you can either color these beforehand or you can color it after. We'll just give it a little more color here. And then you'll wanna color all the way, all your, all your parts. Okay, so now we've got our school bus colored and I, I just used a Sharpie and a marker. Uh, you cannot use either of those. Now we're gonna cut the wheels. And again, I'm just using some craft foam and I'm just gonna cut some small circles. I'll actually just cut a little rectangle of this. And you can make these any shape you want. You can freehand it. Again, the kids can make it. Really easy, does not have to be perfect, and mine uh, definitely aren't. Just trim that up a little bit, oops. Okay, so we've got two tires, and we're just gonna put those guys on. And I'm using, like I said, these are earring bases, but you could use brads, you could use a, a gemstone, you could use anything you wanted. You could use a gold marker for the center. Be really creative there. So I'm gonna poke this through the center and actually just flip, 
the back over so that way they stay on. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And then all we're going to do is attach our tires right to the bus. There we go. And I'm just going to use some clear craft glue for this. Again, you can use your glue gun, whatever is on hand, whatever is easiest. Okay, and put the back one on. There we go. And we've got the wheels on the bus going round and round. And then you could put your photograph on the inside. You could decorate it. You could put a um, cute little gemstone on the front for a headlight. We're going to use a sticker there. You could write the school year. You could write your, the name of your kid's school. The options are completely limitless on this one. And uh, they're super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed making these school bus back to school frames from Craft Forest. And I'll see you back here next week for an all new craft. Thanks, guys.